I'm fake Ran Hill, which is further along this way. But I'd stop a bit here. I wouldn't be seen to do here because I'd just get my head kicked in. For 17-year-old Lee, no-go areas are simply a fact of life. How scared are people generally to go from one gang area to another? Well, I'm pretty terrified, you know I mean? They know they're going to get a knife put in them, basically. You know I mean, a couple of your time even, it could be a bullet in your head, you know what I mean? And he's not alone. New research shows some young people are so scared of this type of gang violence that they stay close to home. It restricts them from being able to engage in leisure pursuits even, uh, sporting activities. Um, it restricts their ability to be able to engage in uh, you know, employment opportunities as well. Well, there's 16 different gangs in a six and a half mile radius uh, across Greater Easter House. You're standing just now in East Hall, which is in the middle of about five of those, those gang areas. Andrew Gilbert knows this area of Glasgow well. For, for some to walk maybe say half a mile to the shopping centre, they have to pass through three different gang territories. Therefore, it's a, a huge problem for that kid to actually move about. He works with young people, helping them to escape the gang culture. <laughs> Teenagers like James, who works for the same youth project. The 17-year-old is now a role model for young children, but there are areas he still won't go, even for work. And do you think the kind of gang culture thing, does it stop some people from, from getting jobs? Uh, aye, because you don't want to walk places and all that, and you can't go through places, so you don't want to go. Glasgow's East End has undergone a major regeneration in recent years. Millions of pounds have been spent, but the gang culture still persists here and is trapping many young people within very tight boundaries. This map shows the 16 gang areas simply in this part of the East End of Glasgow. Despite the dozens of community projects all trying to cut down on gang violence, there's clearly a long way to go. Tim Reid reporting Scotland, Glasgow.